what's up youtube it's your girl lisa angelique here back with another video for you guys today and right now it's like i ain't gonna hold y'all it's probably like 1 a.m and i'm now getting ready for bed and stuff so i'm like why not show you guys my nighttime routine so before i get started make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel for those of you who's new hey y'all what's up it's lisa angelique here um for those of you returning, thank you guys for returning to my channel. And let's get started. So I already took a shower or whatever. Uh, so besides using soap and everything, I used this scrub that my sister got me for Christmas. It's the Ancient Cosmetics Jasmine Argan Oil Body Scrub. And right now it got the room smelling so good. My skin is feeling soft and moisturized. Because honestly, I've been feeling my skin was like a little dry, you know, it's like 12 degrees outside and my skin has been suffering. So I use the body scrub today. My skin feels amazing. And right now I'm about to start washing my face and prepping for bed. Um, that's why I got this bonnet on looking a little crazy. But let me show you guys what I use. So for my face, I use this Artistry Hydra V foaming cleanser I don't know if you guys can see that it's a fresh foaming cleanser gel this is the best foaming cleanser for acne prone skin I get a lot of acne sometimes and this been holding me down and a, a little goes a long way that look crazy right <laughs> Don't get flashbacks on your niggas. That's fancy. And guys, I use paper to dry my face after cleaning it because using cloth carry bacteria and that leads you to more breakouts. And I already got enough of those, so we ain't gonna do that. After drying and rinsing my face, I use a lip scrub. This is the strawberry lip scrub. It's from Color Co. And my lips have been dry. I ain't gonna hold y'all. It's been a little dry. So I gotta make sure my shit is good for Valentine's Day. You know, when I gotta. <laughs> Never mind. After my lip scrub and cleansing my face, I use a Bio Witch Hazel. Um, this is the toner I use. It's the the pore clarifying toner. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't use toners that often, but my dermatologist been on me like. Girl, you gotta use your toners. That's why your skin is dry and blah, blah, blah. So I just get a, a, a what is this called? Exfoliating pad. And I use the exfoliating side of the cotton swab. It has both sides. I use the ripped one. And I told my skin. Make sure don't forget to get your chin, y'all. I always put any product I put on my face, I put it on my chin, going down towards my neck. Alright guys, so I'm not going to hold y'all. My camera died last night and I went to sleep. But I am back here, continuing my video from last night. Um, I think I left off where I did my toner. So after I put on my toners, I put on some moisturizer. Sometimes I use cocoa butter. This is the cocoa butter formula. Or I use CeraVe. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Right now I use creams or, um, what is this called? Creams or formulas or butters, whatever you want to call it because it's cold outside. But normally I would use something lighter like maybe Nivea, Nivea, however you pronounce that. Or like something very light. But for right now I've been using these heavy stuff because it's cold and my skin be chat. 
So now here comes the hair part of my nighttime routine. I do my hair maybe every other night or every two days, three days. I do my hair pretty often. Um, and I take it out in the morning and I wear it, style it however I like to style it. But let me show you guys what I do for my hair. This is the T right now okay this is the tea because i don't be showing nobody looking like this like it took me mad long to be on facetime with, with my boo with my hair like in some doodle braids or whatever you want to call it so i'm trusting y'all to not screenshot me okay. all right so boom for my hair let me show y'all quickly the products i use i use a leave-in conditioner Right now, I'm using Cantu, the argan oil one. My sister be coming for me when I use um, Cantu. She don't like Cantu, but Cantu works for me. What works best for you, you can use it. As long as it's a cream-based um, leave-in conditioner. I use oil. This bottle is old. Um, I put peppermint and black castor oil in this bottle. I just use this bottle because it has a dropper. Oh, shit hard. I use it because it has the dropper and it's easy to put in my hair. But the real, um, the real oil that's in there is, this is not even the bottle either. <laughs> it's the black castor oil. It's the Jamaican um, mango and lime black castor oil line. It's the black castor oil with peppermint oil. That's the one I use. And I just put it in this bottle because it's easier for me to use. I use a Demon brush and a rat tail comb. Um, this Demon brush I got from... I don't know because it, it's not here no more. You can use any diamond brush. Sometimes I use this pink oil lotion. It's an oil moisturizer hair lotion. I use this and I use oil. I know I'll be doing a lot for my hair, but it works for me. So, And then I have a spray bottle. In my spray bottle is water. It's half water and it's half, half water and half aloe vera gel. This aloe vera gel is 100% aloe vera gel. Um, you can be bougie and get the plant and you know scrape the gel from it. But I don't got time for that, so I bought this from the beauty supply store. It was I still got the price of it. It was like seven dollars. Um, I mix it with half water and this is my spray bottle. So take your hair out. My hair is hella itchy. I don't know why. Like I think I gotta wash it soon. I'm gonna wash it before Valentine's Day. But I part my hair down the middle we don't care about our parts right now because we're going to sleep after this so don't come for me for my party in the middle and then I get a scrunchie or something to hold this part I get a scrunchie hold this part and then I part this in half I usually do my hair into four plaits we're gonna be braiding. If you guys don't know how to braid, who chow? <laughs> now nah, let me stop because some people really don't know how to braid and that's fine. Don't feel offended because that's fine. Not everybody knows how to braid. So maybe I'll do a braiding video next time, but right now I'm not gonna do a braiding video. Let me know down in the comments below if you need me to teach you how to braid. All right, so we're gonna start with the back section. This is how my parting looks down the middle and then across if it look crazy like I said don't come for me okay cool so I get my spray bottle of water with my aloe vera gel and I spray it in my hair I don't do my hair when it's super wet like I just want it a little bit damp it's a little bit damp I'm showing y'all like y'all can tell it's wet maybe you can whatever so I like my hair a little bit damp um and then I go in with my argan oil leave-in conditioner that I showed you guys earlier a little goes a long way I do not like to put a lot of product in my hair because I wake up super early for work and my hair won't be dry so I take a little bit that's how much I need for this part I run it through my hair I go in with my pink lotion take a little bit 
it's really pink guys <laughs> and I run it through my hair the same way I did with the um, curl cream and then with my bottle of oil I put a few drops in my scalp that's why I say I like the dropper because I can just drop it into my scalp without having to part my hair and do all that extra stuff that my mom used to do when I was younger. So I just drop it into my scalp. I put a little bit of drops on my ends of hair because you got to protect your ends as well. Do a little massage on my scalp. Massaging your hair promotes hair growth. So I massage my scalp a little bit, massage the oils into my scalp. And then I go with my Demon brush and I brush out my hair. I don't know why I just stood up, but I need to show y'all. The proper way to brush or comb your hair is starting from the tip and gradually making your way down to the root of your hair. Never start from the root of your hair because that will break your hair. If your hair is tangled at the bottom, you're just dragging the tangle down and then you're ripping your hair. We don't do that, okay? So start from the bottom of your hair and make your way up. I prefer to use a Demon brush over a comb. I used to be team comb all day, but my sister introduced me to a Demon brush and I was like, mm, this is pretty cool. So, um, if you like to use combs, you can definitely use a comb, um, but I prefer a Demon brush because it really gets out all my tangles. And then we're gonna do a braid. Um, like I said, some people do not know how to braid. If you don't know how to braid, you can do a bantu knot. Let me show you a bantu knot real quick. What you do is grab your hair and twist it around itself. Like so. You see how it's twisting around itself like that? And then you twist it to make a knot. You put it around itself. Sometimes my hair does not stay like that, so I put a rubber band around it to hold it. But if your hair does stay, oh, it's staying now, it's showing out for y'all. If your hair does stay like this, you can leave it like that, and in the morning, you just take it out, take it down. But for right now, I like to do braids because I don't know, I just be doing braids sometimes. So we're just gonna do one big braid for this. We braid it all the way to the tip, to the bottom. That's my braid right there. And we do the same thing all around. Don't forget them ends. I look like ASAP Rocky in this bitch. <laughs> I ain't got no lip gloss, no nothing, no lashes. I should put something on because I look crazy. But we don't want to sleep, so it don't matter. So half is done. You see my braid coming out at the bottom? Sometimes I put a rubber band, but I'm going to be a lazy right now. That's what we're going to do for this.
I decided to go in and put some rubber bands because it keeps coming out. And then I just put on my satin bonnet that I had on in the other clip and took my braids in there. And then we call it a night. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or um, let me know you, you guys' tips or tricks to maintaining your natural hair. Um, and let me know down in the comments if you like this video. Like if you like videos like this or maybe I'll do a morning routine next or something like that. But I need to see you guys engaging with me. So I need you guys to engage with me please and thank you um thank you guys for watching and i'll catch y'all in the next video